from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained today, the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the Northeast Festival that was held in Kokrajar district of Assam. Organized as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mohotsav, the festival very well showcased the rich cultural diversity of Northeastern states through a string of events. The rich ethnic heritage of Northeast region was recently on display in Assam as it hosted the two day festival. Organized by the state's National Thermal Power Corporation or NTPC Bongai Gaon Salakati, the event was held as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, celebrating 75 years of India's independence. Artists from almost all the seven states of Northeast that include Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Manipur, Nagaland and Tripura performed dance numbers on stage to present their rich culture and traditions. Pramod Boro, who is the chief executive member of Bodoland Territorial Region, was the chief guest of the event. In his speech, he thanked NTPC for organizing such a program that showcases the vibrant and colorful traditions of India's Northeast region. As a NTPC at a notice festival at a Iozon Kurise, Zot Kobi Hon Miloni, Hangaskriti program, we will know program food, ethnic food or money program, we will know program Rakise, Aru Muikarone, Salakati, Amara NTPC, Tonova Jonaisu, Zetoka Hokole, Tolua, Baha Hangaskriti, Tolua, Hahito, Agbora Loizoa Karone, Aru Tolua, Amarzibla, Artisan Bilake, Podakora, we will know Hasposa Bilak Mane, Peker Hokole, Guruto, Podan Kori, yet. Kisuman program Rakise, Ekini Agua Loizo Arcarone, Moteke Hokolo Tonova Jonaisu, Aru Azadiki Umbrit Mohat Sobzi to program Yardara Azi, Amar Bivino Onustan, Protestant Bilagor, Zatio Setona, Amar Dehor Protesi to Setona, Matri Humor Protesi to Setona to Aru Zagibo, Aru Hokolo, Hokrio Hoyutibo, Aru Hikane Proton Monti Damoria, Azi Parot Borhohon, Agua Loizo Arcarone, Parot or Protito Zonogon or Mazo, Protito on Solo, Azadika Umbrit Mohat Sob. Iazon Koribola is to attack Damoreta Podoke Lole, Yarkane Podamundi Damoria Moit Hunabazonis. An ethnic fashion show was also organized during the event, wherein the young models dazzled on the ramp with much confidence and elegance. Alongside dance performances and fashion show, several handicraft and handloom stalls displaying a number of artifacts were also erected. While the items made from bamboo grabbed eyeballs, the handmade pickles enabled visitors to relish the flavor of the region. This program is the first time that the Amrut Mahatsev is going to be the first line. And in the line, we have to show the North East Coast. And for this program, we have designed this program. And we are thankful that the Chief of BTR. He was also here and he has encouraged us very much. And we welcome all of you in the North East. Not only in the North East, I am encouraging and requesting all throughout India, please come to the North East. And this is one of the most beautiful parts of the country. During the event, people from various northeastern states were also seen preparing local delicacies in their own traditional style. The cuisines not just tickled the taste buds of visitors but also left them wanting for more. Thus, by presenting a plethora of options, the Northeast Festival not just left the people spoiled for choice but also brought forth the richness of the region's culture. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. 
The Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir serves as the richest reservoir of this tradition, and this can be well witnessed during the Urs of Sufi saints in the region when people cutting across religious lines gather under one roof. So, giving a glimpse of this unique devotional culture, today we take you to the 17th Urs commemoration of Sai Sufi Sahab that was recently commemorated in the Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir. Take a look. The shrine of Sufi Saint Sai Sofi, located in the Arthal village of Rajori district, is an abode of peace and tranquility. Recently, people cutting across religious lines gathered at the shrine to attend the 17th Urs of the Holy Saint. They offered special prayers and wished for peace and prosperity to prevail across the nation. Allah Bagne Avene Insan Ki Shakal Me Peda Kiya, Phir Amare Aage. हमें ज़ेन दमाग दिया कि हमने किस तरफ उसको लगाया है तो अल्लाह पाक सबसे पहले हमें इंसान बनाए और फिर किसी रंग नसल और तक़ा के अंदर हम मुंसलिक हैं बाराल जो ये लोग हैं जैसे आप दरिया में जाएंगे तो सब नहाएंगे ऐसे अल्लाह वालों के पास जो आएंगे तो सब फ़ैल पाके जाएंगे it's been said that the saint used to cure people by using medicinal plants and other domestic remedies and is therefore revered by people not only from Rajori but from nearby districts as well. As part of celebration, Sufi scholars and imams delivered a sermon on the life, religious services, teachings and spiritual strength of the saint who devoted himself to the welfare of the public. Community kitchen or langar was also set up at the outdoors where meal was served as a holy sacrament to the devotees of different religions. Allah ke valiyu ke darbar pe har admi aata hai, har mazhab aur milat, har rang nasl ka admi aata hai, aur wo faiz hasil karke jata hai. To kehne ka ye matlab hai, yahan zat pat maz ye rang nasl in chizu ka bedbau nahi hota hai. Ye Allah ke valiyu hote hain, Allah ki taraf se inko ata hota hai aur ye apna inka jo faiz aur barakat hote hain, wo hamesha sabke logon ke liye jari hoti hain. The way people of various faiths attended the urs of the Sufi saint clearly indicates that the lesson of humanity and compassion that was one preached by him is still having its roots deeply embedded in the culture and traditions of India. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Chandigarh-based Harnath Sandhu was recently named Miss Universe in the Israeli resort of Filat during a ceremony marking the 70th anniversary of the international pageant. Sandhu, who reached the final alongside Miss Paraguay, burst into tears as she was announced the new Miss Universe. I feel overwhelmed because it's been... 21 years since India got Miss Universe crown and it's happening right now. So I'm grateful to everyone out there who always supported me and believed in me and I am ready to take the responsibility of the crown now. Israel hosted the contest in the Red Sea Resort of Ilat amid a surge in COVID-19 cases and after imposing travel restrictions to try to stave off the Omicron coronavirus variant. Sandhu urged people around the world to get vaccinated to help keep the borders open. Renowned Sarod player Ayan Ali Bangash put up a beautiful show at Crest Club in Gurugram. Accompanied by Mithilesh Kumar Jha and Sharik Mustafa on Tabla, he played a number of ragas ranging from Rag Shri to Meg Malhar and God Malhar. Ayan is the son of Sarod Maestro Ustad Amjad Ali Khan and is carrying forward the legacy of his father. I'm just a humble custodian, I think, of an art form that goes back uh, so many years. So I think uh, it's a wonderful time for Indian classical music. I think this is one art form that organically kind, kind of reinvents itself. Uh, you know, with every passing year, you really don't need anyone to monitor or maneuver, uh, you know, how this art form has survived and will continue to survive. The musical evening was organized by Spick McKay, 
और सोसाइटी फॉर द प्रमोशन ऑफ इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक एंड कल्चर अमंगस्ट यूथ इन कोलैबोरेशन विद क्रेस्ट क्लब गुरुग्राम Established by Dr. Kiran Seth in 1977 at IIT Delhi, Speak Make is a voluntary organization that is known for its incredible determination to promote Indian art and support the artists. Fans of Bollywood actor Ayushman Khurana were all praises for his new romantic comedy Chandigarh Kare Aashiqui that hit the theaters lately. Based on the love story of a trans woman, the movie features Khurana and Vani Kapoor in lead roles. The movie is all good. All the actors are good. I mean, Ajman Khurana has brought a new, 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 or filmmakers switching to OTT platforms to showcase their work. Wedding is a costly affair in India and it is a dream of every girl to have a grand marriage, making this nuptial ceremony easier for girls and setting a great example of harmony and brotherhood to the society. A mass marriage was recently organized in Aligarh city of Uttar Pradesh where 468 couples were wedded off. Mass marriages are getting immense popularity these days. Recently, in Aligarh city, around 468 couples belonging to Hindu and Muslim communities exchanged wedding vows in presence of their relatives and friends. The ceremonies were conducted by priests and religious leaders in accordance to their respective religions. These events not only help establish a bond of communal harmony among the two communities but also facilitate people from impoverished sections of the society to celebrate their wedding in a grand manner. Today, we have 453 Hindus and 15 Muslims. It is a good place in Sohatpur Mahal. I would like to thank all of you for this opportunity. An initiative undertaken by the state government is garnering praise among different communities in Uttar Pradesh. Around 16 couples from Muslim community and over 450 couples from Hindu community got hitched amidst ritualistic hymns and prayers said by religious leaders and pundits present at the occasion. As a wedding gift, authorities also deposited 35,000 rupees in the bride's account presented gifts for 10,000 rupees to the couples and bore the expenses for the feast. Blending in with the new culture of mass marriage in the country, many couples from impoverished section and different communities are coming up to participate in the event making their wedding celebrations a grand affair. The successful event represented the conglomeration of the wide range of Indian cultures and communities displaying unity and oneness present among the people of India. The arrival of winters brings along with itself a season of snow-clad views, winter sports and backpacking to the most scenic places in the country. Hill stations in northern India have started receiving the first fall of snow, which is making them a perfect spot for winter gateways. Let's have a look. Winter season is in full swing in northern India, a region home to some of the most magnificent hill stations and mountain ranges in the world. Thronged by tourists to experience serenity, snow-clad views and the cozy winter atmosphere, a number of hilly towns in India are not only popular destinations for sightseeing, but also for enjoying winter sports and adventure activities. इमोशनल हैं और बहुत हेल्पिंग नेचर है मतलब कश्मीर के जैसे बहुत अच्छे लोग हैं और यहाँ पे हर एक लोग को आने चाहिए फैमिली के साथ अकेले जहाँ हैं तो अकेले भी आने चाहिए मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा 
मैं ये जो पल है ये जो समय मैं जिंदगी भर भूल नहीं सकता हूँ मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है तो यहाँ का वेदर यहाँ का क्लाइमेट और अभी जितना अच्छे से स्नोफॉल देखने को मिल रही है हमको एक तो हमारी किस्मत भी बहुत अच्छी है कि हम इस टाइम पे पहुँचे हैं एंड इतना इंजॉय करने को मिल रहा है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है बहुत खूबसूरत प्लेस है Tourists have started flocking to hill towns of Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Jammu and Kashmir to get the view of white thick blanket of snow that has covered the entire area. In Gulmarg town of Jammu and Kashmir, which is famous around the world for being the world's best ski resort, tourists were seen skiing and enjoying sledging and other snow activities. Similar scenes were witnessed in Shimla city of Himachal Pradesh where tourists from across the country are coming to enjoy ice skating. The skating rink is thrown open mid November and sees a steady rush of skating enthusiasts throughout the winter season. Pani apne aap freeze hota hai. Temperature kafi kam rehta hai yahan pe, dhoop nahi aati hai isliye kafi naturally yahan pe jam jati hai ice skating aur tourists aa rahe hain kafi enjoy kar rahe hain. शिमला में जो आइस स्केटिंग ओपन आइस स्केटिंग रिंक है वहाँ पे क्योंकि आइस स्केटिंग नहीं हो रही है इसलिए यहाँ पे ज्यादा रश देखने को मिल रहा है लोग यहाँ पे आके ज्यादा एंजॉय कर रहे हैं इंडिया बिकम्स अ टूरिस्ट मैग्नेट ड्यूरिंग विंटर्स विच अट्रैक्ट टूरिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑल अराउंड वर्ल्ड दे रिमेन ऑल स्ट्रक बाई द ब्यूटी ऑफ वाइट स्नो क्लैड माउंटेन्स कुल एटमोसफेयर एंड एंटरटेनिंग एक्टिविटीज last we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus Japanese company NEC has developed Face Express a face recognition system at Narita airport After registration of the passenger's face he or she can move forward and pass the boarding procedure leaving baggage security check boarding gate and so on without showing boarding pass or passport at every checkpoint 今回航空業界の標準という形に融合させる形での顔認証による搭乗プロセスというのを実現することができましたでコロナが明けた後に、えっと、旅客の方、需要が戻ってきたときに、えっと、スムーズに搭乗いただける、かつ非接触という新しい世界でも有効活用いただける仕組みだと思っています、さらに多くのエアライン様、旅客に使っていただけるように、さらなる、えっと、性能ですとか機能、使い勝手の向上を果たしていきまして、世界中の空港で我々が今回作り上げた仕組みを使っていただければというふうに考えております。For privacy reasons, face recognition data will be deleted within 24 hours after registration. Equipped with latest technology, Face Express NEC is coming up with a new and more convenient way of ensuring men's security. It has the most accurate image recognition in the world and guarantees security under all adverse circumstances. A throng of Catholic pilgrims estimated at more than 1.5 million people gathered at the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City for the annual Virgin of Guadalupe pilgrimage after the festivities were cancelled last year due to COVID-19 pandemic. The Basilica is the most visited Catholic shrine of the Americas and was constructed next to a hill in the north of the Mexican capital where Catholics believe that Mary the mother of Jesus appeared to an Aztec man in 1531 a decade after the Spanish conquest of Mexico. Venimos de Nicaragua. Somos nicaragüenses con gusto y gloria. Soy gran devota de la Virgen de Guadalupe. Amo Amo a mi emperatriz de América con todo fervor. Es primera vez que estoy poniendo en los pies donde ha sido mi sueño por 46 años. Es una gran dicha estar aquí en el pueblo mexicano que aman con gran fervor a nuestra emperatriz de América y le dan el lugar que ella se merece como la gran patrona que es la gran milagrosa, la más bonita de todas. The feast day of the Virgin of Guadalupe celebrated annually on December 12 features lavish pageantry at the basilica as crowds of pilgrims arrive on their knees in prayer. More than 1.5 million pilgrims came to the basilica on Sunday. Mexico City Mayor Claudia Sheinbaum wrote on Twitter adding that city security officials were monitoring the event. 
Mexican church and civic leaders last year cancelled the annual gathering amid the intensifying pandemic with festivities instead held online. Mexico City has since lifted most strict pandemic-related measures. Global transportation business company NYK Group has come up with Sail Green Project. It is defined by the mid-term management plan of company and is declared ESG Environmental Social and Governance Model Project. Car carrying business aims to operate less environment burden transportation. Under which shipbuilding work is carried out to reduce carbon dioxide of LNG gas fuel material carriers. Sail Green Project あの、名前の通りですね。これは完全に環境対応ということで、あの我々のホームとして進めようとしているものです。ま、コシになるのはやはり一番CO2をあの排出してると思われるのはやはり船でございまして、外洋航路に出ている船の1年間の排出量は極